It must have been 10 years ago I bought my first Drobo 4, a RAID like device that could hold 4 hard disks. Last week I bought my fourth Drobo, a 5DT. All four are still operational and I never lost a single bit. Well, actually that's not completely true. I did lose some files but that was because I made two mistakes. I didn't have a backup and I did erase files that shouldn't have been erased. Both actions Jobo can't be blamed for. Let me also make clear that I'm not sponsored in any way by Drobo. I bought all four Drobos at the same price you would have paid for it. I'd like to stress this since I'm so enthusiastic about the Drobo products that it might look like a sponsored plug. It isn't. Drobo developed a special version of RAID technology. RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks and is a system that combines a number of hard disks to one volume. There are several ways to do this, for instance making a volume the size of the total storage of all disks in the system. This creates a very fast storage system since the load is spread across all disks. The disadvantage is that when only one disk dies all data is lost. Another way is to copy the contents to two disks simultaneously so that when one disk dies all data is still available from the second disk. The disadvantage is that you use only 50% of the total storage for data while the other 50% is used for redundancy. When you use more than two drives a more efficient safety system can be employed by scattering the data over three or more drives in a way that only about one third is needed for redundancy. This is the scheme Drobo uses on all their products. But they go beyond this, hence the name Beyond RAID. Early RAID systems needed all this to be identical, sometimes even up to the batch number. This is no longer the case, but Drobo was amongst the first, and maybe it was the first, to let you use any combination of hard disk regardless of capacity or speed. It automatically figures out the most efficient way to use all capacity while guaranteeing data safety. And the best thing is that you don't have to understand anything of RAIDs or even computers. Next to each drive is a light that can be green, yellow, blinking yellow, red or blinking red. When green that drive is ok. When yellow it is an empty slot you might add a drive to. When it's blinking yellow you should not remove the drive. A solid red light means that you should now add a drive there and a blinking red light means that a drive is defective and needs to be replaced. The Drobo dashboard software also warns you with verbose messages. As long as you follow the instructions the Drobo device will take care of the rest. The name Drobo stems from Data Robotics and that's exactly the right name. If a disk fails and you are asked to replace it, you simply remove the disk with the red light next to it and put in a new disk. Nothing is lost but the Drobo needs to build up the safety scheme again and that can take days depending on the total amount of data. Recent models are a lot faster than the old ones. I accidentally popped out one drive from the 5DT and when put back it took 18 hours to fully restore the redundancy of the 11.5 terabytes. In the meantime the drive could normally be used although the data throughput was lower. Drobo offers three kind of devices. Direct attached storage or DAS, network attached storage or NAS and storage area network devices according to the iSCSI standard or iSCSI SANS. The latter is of no interest to us since they are a few thousand bucks per unit, excluding the disks, so the choice is between DAS and NAS. And that's more or less a personal choice. Since I have a computer running room in the machine room of the studio, I would prefer a DAS. It's cheaper and it causes no extra load on the network, 
But if you for instance use a streamer that does its own indexing, like devices from Sonos, Bluesound, Aurelic and others, you might prefer to use a NAS and place it anywhere in the network as long as it's not in the living room, for a number of discs packed in one housing always produces some noise. For audio, speed is no issue. Even the initial model of 10 years ago still provides music to the stereo of my son. The only reason I bought a very fast 5DT was video editing in Ultra HD. The standard 5 slot Drobos when filled with 10 terabyte discs can store 36 terabytes protected for the failure of one disc. Would you like a dual disc redundancy the capacity becomes 27 terabytes. When even bigger drives become available, Drobo can facilitate them up to a volume of 64 terabytes, and that goes for both the DAS and the NAS versions. As said, in the last 10 years I never lost a single bit due to hard disk failure, and I have on average one to two hard disks failing every year since I have about 30 hard disks active. But a single copy is never safe since the drive can be stolen, your house can catch on fire, there can be water damage, not to mention the biggest problem, the human error. So a second copy is a good thing. That need not be a RAID drive but for instance one or more USB drives. And if you really want to be sure, also have a second backup and store that in a different location, for instance on your work or with family. Especially family photos and videos are very valuable and should be stored that way. But ripping your music collection a second time isn't a very tempting idea either. So one copy is unsafe, two copies is better, three copies is a backup. If you use the Drobo for heavier applications as well like photo or video editing, you might consider the 5N2 NAS or the 5D or 5DT DAS that can use a 128GB MSATA SSD as a cache. Keep in mind that only the 5DT comes standard with the SSD cache installed, it's optional for the other two models. I would like to stress that despite that NASs are currently extremely en vogue, a DAS is a better solution if you use a computer as a music player or if you have Rune installed on a computer. A USB 3 or Thunderbolt connection is more reliable than a network connection. The reliability of the Drobo products I can vouch for and that's based on a 10 year experience with four Drobo products, all four still running. I did have a failure with the 8 bay Drobo Pro after two years. Drobo replaced the unit under warranty within days by shipping a replacement and later picking up the defective unit in the same packing. The most important thing is the fact that you just don't have to know anything about anything. Just follow the instructions and you are set. If you, like me, have a large music collection that took years to get ripped and labeled correctly, investing in a RAID system does set your mind at ease. Choosing a Drobo beyond RAID has worked very fine for me. That doesn't mean that there aren't other systems that work just as well. I can tell you only about my own experience. But if I find a better option, I will review it as well. So if you want to stay informed, subscribe to this channel, my newsletter or follow me on Twitter, Facebook or Google+. See the show notes for the link. If you have a question, post it below this video, but please don't ask me for buying advice. See my About Questions video why. If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel through Patreon and see the super exclusive videos too. The link is in the show notes. And don't forget to tell your friends on the web about this channel. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or in the hbproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.